everyone welcome back to my channel today i wanted to film a real quick video of kind of like a power hour cleaning i don't have a lot of time we're about to go to my parents house for a little get together but i really need to get my house in order first and so i thought it would be a good opportunity to show you how i just do kind of like a speed cleaning or just tidying up the house really fast um, again, like I said, it's just like a power hour cleaning, nothing super in-depth, but just kind of picking things up and getting them where they belong so that the house feels nice and fresh and clean. So I'm going to show you how I do that and take you along with me. So let's get started. I try to look for little open opportunities like this to pick up the house um, especially whenever I don't have a lot of time to deep clean. I feel like this really helps me keep my um, house under control and at bay. It helps a lot with my anxiety. As I've said before, my kitchen and my living room are very open and when you walk in, those are the first things that you see. So I definitely try to keep those under control. Although sometimes I fail at that, but when I have moments like today when I can just pick up really quick, those few minutes really do make a massive difference in the way that I feel about my house and it just prepares me moving forward and it helps me be able to manage things better. And I've noticed that my family, they seem to operate better when things are more under control and organized as well. I think it's just the human nature in us. Lately, I have been trying to load everything I can in the dishwasher, but I've noticed that there are a few larger dishes that won't fit. I am trying to go ahead and wash those as well as dry them and put them away and then clean out my sink. I feel like having an empty sink has also been one thing that has helped me feel better about my house and it doesn't make me feel like I have this huge task ahead of me. I absolutely hate walking into the kitchen and seeing the sink full of dishes. It just makes me feel like I have a huge task ahead of me to conquer. So doing this by just simply washing those few dishes that are left and cleaning up the sink has been something that I feel like has really helped when I'm cleaning. Also, I heard a plumber one time say that if you don't traditionally wash, like hand wash your dishes um, frequently, then you should fill your sink with water at least once every week if you can, but if not, maybe once a month, but at least try to fill your sink up with water and then just let it drain. But this will help prevent any clogs in your pipes um, and it'll help your drains to work smoothly and so whenever I'm cleaning the kitchen like this I try to use that opportunity when I'm cleaning off the counters just to fill my sink up. We have a farmhouse sink which I absolutely love. I did not want to split sink at all. I liked having one large sink so it takes a while to fill it up but I feel like if I do that once every week or once every couple weeks that it really does help how it drains.
I'm definitely convinced that laundry is a never ending chore. However, I think that if I start a load in the morning and I try to check it again in the evening, it's helped me feel like I don't have to spend the entire day in the laundry room, especially with a family of four and two small kids. It just helps if I'm constantly doing just at least a load or two here and there versus having to spend, like I said, a full day focusing on laundry. This playroom honestly needs about a solid week of my attention. When I can find the time to do that, I am definitely gonna sit down and do it. And I'm gonna go through all of these toys and give away so much because these kids have way more than they ever need, as most do. But I feel like coming up here and just picking things up and trying to kind of put things in their spot, even though it might not last that long, it makes me feel better, especially when I have to walk past it because I absolutely dread going upstairs and seeing the playroom or the kids' bedrooms because they're always a wreck. But anytime I get a chance like this to come and just pick it up, even if I'm not like deep cleaning and organizing it, just kind of putting things in their spot and having it not look so cluttered and such a mess or to the point where you could at least walk in the room and not break your neck, I definitely feel like that helps a lot. And we're back to the laundry. So like I said before, taking your laundry and separating it out into piles of each person's laundry has really helped me when I'm folding it and being able to put it away faster. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm separating it with each girl's uh, pile and then my husband's and then mine. And I still feel like it takes me forever to fold clothes because we have so many but it does help just knowing that each person's is in one section and I'm not constantly having to go back and forth between the basket and turning around. So I feel like that helps. And if you see me constantly looking up during this video, it's because we have a balcony and my kids were upstairs. The youngest in particular had found a water gun and she was shooting me from the balcony. That is how we roll around here. So if I don't have the time to do all of my floors, I will at least vacuum the area rug in my living room and then the hardwood in the living room and the kitchen just because it's a high traffic area and it tends to get dirty faster than others. And again, since we are frequently walking on that, it helps me feel better just to feel like my floors are clean when I at least clean those areas.
So that's about it. That is a quick way to get your house clean and in order um, and just make it feel fresh when you don't have a lot of time to dedicate to cleaning your house. You can quickly and easily just pick things up and put them in their place and it just makes the space feel so much better. I know for me personally, it helps a lot with my anxiety if I feel like things are in their place and it just makes it a lot easier, especially as I start my week. So I really hope that that helped y'all, gave you a little bit of cleaning inspiration. Um, again, like I said, you don't need a lot of time to get it clean. Just pick things up and put them in their place. I have some really fun videos planned ahead, so I hope y'all are enjoying this. If you have any more video requests, please leave them in the comments because I have enjoyed those as well. And like I said, just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye guys.